there's something bothering our industry and today we're going to spend some quality time to discuss it as well the fact that our artists will spend huge amount of money to record albums sometimes even travel outside ghana to shoot music videos do collaborations and just after some minutes of release you see some of our bloggers putting these songs on their individual platforms for people to download for free i know that there is no way someone can say this is good for our industry there are so many angles in this discussion for instance, I've spoken to one blogger who tells me that Sami, sometimes artists na kasa ti mi kasa ye fa ye nyo omo nyo mno and to ye blog ni omo obi oho a wo din nyo mna to e no no akofa link no aba no chale thanks thanks for supporting me or no artists no or no artists no back of fall link no wa send ya maka and say thanks for supporting me it's a mutu na mu so say obi na eku artist no someone is not helping the artist out saying a discussion and cassette here so when we come back we're going to have a fair share in fact a good time to discuss this and we're talking to the man who manages um ghananyum.com that is fifi adinkra because i know some of these things he has been seen as a guilty person since 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 since, since. and today he's telling us whether he's still guilty has he stopped and again has he done this to um the stone boys album as well so be at your stone boy album yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what are you saying? What are you saying? Uh, meeting as uh, a friend. Let me ask that. Let me ask it that. What are you saying? Okay, uh, what I've seen is that. Uh -huh. no, I also have that question. Yeah. online. Online, where? online, bang. Uh, platform bang. Oh, I I don't really remember the platform that I want. Uh, I listen to. But Papa, it's not old boy or phone, so that's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, Madam Lobby. Oh, download it free. Sorry. Yeah, what mean? I I unless I check. Unless I check. <laughs> and you see, I have an issue. I I downloaded the song uh -huh. for a purpose. For you know, some of these discussions, until now, we download it, you know. Ah, uh, now person or person, I'm passing. Yeah, yeah. Only say, uh, I don't know if you have some discussion in there. Last, that was it last year, last, last two years. Uh huh. Stone boy released the episode of Mama now. Mm -hmm. uh, during uh, uh, the launch, mm -hmm. during or oh, was I the phone? Mm -hmm. I asked this that same question. Mm -hmm. Say, uh, what is he going to do? Because mm -hmm. I know, and after you release the album, no, mm -hmm. it went out free. Everybody was downloading the song free. You mm -hmm. know, so when it came, uh, I think uh, was it this morning? Uh, mm -hmm. I, I I listened to all the songs mm -hmm. on the site. I decided to download one. See if I may cancel. I didn't download all. One. See if I see if I may be there. You understand? Because for people, I say, wait, what shows said mm -hmm. uh, a free download? Mm -hmm. So this this is what shows. Then what what, 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 what you are talking about reminds me of a guy who was caught for or who was accused for <laughs> having a sexual <laughs> encounter with a lady. And they one. ask they ask him. I guess that's uh, did you really? Penetrate her. Small. 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 A registered, in fact, <laughs> an, an official who play member. Yeah, he's actually wearing the uh, shada. In case you don't know, the B there is not black arm. <laughs> <laughs> that B you are seeing there is who uh, play. Yeah. You should know about that. Yes, you have also listened. Yeah, to I've it. listened to it. Where did you listen to it? Uh, I think I listened to it on YouTube. YouTube. Because the Stone Boy the been album been. on YouTube. Yes. yes. He's, okay, he's, YouTube, YouTube music, oh. No, no, no. no. You, 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 yeah, yeah. Stone Boy is very kind. He's put all the song there. So I, oh, Stone Boy himself. Yeah. By that kindness. Oh, by oh, what I say. So, so if I'm listening on. So uh, if you call it dash, you're say it's the kindness. By that dash. No, but if you give, if you give me something to listen for free, or you give me your card, give you the access to something. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So you welcome back to Showbiz Daily here on Sami Flex TV with my serious man on duty, Dan Latte, Ricky Rick, and uh, Steve Mason, talking serious music business here on the platform. Now, before I even come back to them, you know, we started talking about Stone Boys and Loga Junction album. In fact, almost everybody is talking about the fact that the album is dope. 
I've not seen any negative review anywhere. Everybody's talking about great work, great work, great yes. work. Unless you guys, unless you have seen something. When I come back and you've seen something, you guys will tell me. But then what I want us to pay attention critically to is the fact that so many people have taken advantage of the release of the album, putting it on their individual blocks, and they are also making some money or gaining some currency out of that. Uh, Fifi Adinkra is the boss of Ghananyom.com. He has been doing this business so many years of experience. Let's find out how we can keep this moving forward. Fifi, good evening, sir. Good evening, Rafi. Mm, big man, did you have a here? <laughs> I know we will survive. I know we will survive. You will never die. You will never die. Uh, how are you managing the COVID-19 and its issues? Oh, my lockdown started way before. Um, I'm afraid of death, so I was in a small corner way before the lockdown, the official lockdown, and I'm still hiding. Oh. Yeah. Are, are, you, are, you with, are you with your wife or you are alone? Ah, good for you. That is a proper lockdown. <laughs> lockdown proper, 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 proper. <laughs> I know. Now, Fee, this issue, I know we've been talking about this for the past five years or even more. The fact that bloggers or the guys who manage some of these platforms have been putting songs on their platforms. We've been doing this discussion and it is happening to our brother Stone Boy. And it is still a worry and a bother to us. Um, first of all, who would you blame? Is it the artist or the bloggers? Um, greetings to everyone. Mm -hmm. um, I prefer going straight to the point. Sure. The blame should be shared. The bloggers or the players behind the blogs should be blamed or equally blamed as much as the artists too and the management. Um, if the right measures are done, put in place, the right structures are done, I think even if we can't eliminate it totally, it won't be minimized if we are also to do so. Okay, so 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 let's share the blame properly. Um for the bloggers, why do you want us to blame them? What is their crime? You know, a blogger is a platform, somebody's platform an online space, or unofficial, their blog is not an official uh, news platform, so someone puts the blog to express his or her opinion or share news items of something that he finds mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. Now this person decides to share an album on the platform, you are at will to express a comment or a view on someone else's content. But the manner in which you do it is what might create the problem. Mm -hmm. A blog is allowed to embed. We have something we call embed. That's like creating a mirror of whatever content it is. Okay. That is officially or the right way to do it. Mm -hmm. But well to embed SoundCloud, iTunes, Spotify, um, all the guitar stores, audio mark, you can embed them on your platform and your business can get to listen or stream these songs. Okay. And when they stream the songs, the credit goes back to the artist. Okay. That's the right thing to do. It. But unfortunately, some of my brothers are failing to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. That's why they think they play. Or if an artist releases a song, I have noticed that the concern is mostly about albums, but songs too, when they release, you should wait for the artist to tell you, yo, put my song on there before you do so. Mm -hmm. But they, they can't wait, they are in a hurry for the traffic, the money. It's the traffic that they raise their mind. Mm -hmm. It's not even the download. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they can't wait and they go ahead to do what the artist has authorized them to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see. Now let's come to the managers because you said they are also to be blamed. Yeah. What is their crime as well? The artist creates the content and he owns copyright to the song. Okay. It's an intellectual property. Mm -hmm. A video, a lyrics, um, pictures, they all belong to the artist. 
So okay. if you are making use of it, you need motorization or you need to be given the right to do so. You need to be given the right to make use of someone else's content. Mm -hmm. Especially in a situation where there is a money making venture or business dealing. Mm -hmm. So if you release a song and I'm selling it, or I'm using your song to make money, I'm doing something I can gladly say is illegal. Mm -hmm. Because you have not authorized me to do so. Mm -hmm. But when you release a song, and what I'm doing, we have something we call fair use. Mm -hmm. Fair use is a situation whereby, you I'm using your content, but I'm not making money off it. Mm -hmm. Yes, if I'm doing something which is in the space of the fair use, then I wouldn't say it's right or wrong, but it's fair. It's okay, and, and, and it's allowed. It's allowed. Okay. Uh, on the manager's side, they sometimes fail to authorize people to do it. They release a song and they leave it. They leave it. They don't tell the girls, oh, do the right thing or do this in this way. They just leave it. Mm -hmm. And even when the, uh, the girls have done the wrong thing by putting these albums out for free, mm -hmm. they still fail to do the right thing of telling the girls to take it down. Okay. And there are so many ways to take a song off the website. You can talk to the blogger directly or whoever did it directly. You can report to Google. You can report to the file server. And some of us are very easy to find. You can talk to us and we'll help you get your content off unauthorized workspaces. Mm, 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 mm. I see. Now, when I am an artist manager and I see that a blog has, put my, has uh, uploaded my song on their platform, what are the right channels to go through before I can retrieve my song? When your content is uploaded, certainly there will be a link to it. Okay. You, you need that link first, maybe a screenshot as proof. Then you find every website has this contact us page or about us page. Yeah. Yeah, so you go there. We find the brain behind whichever platform it is. This is the work that we have all taken upon ourselves. So things that infringe on the work that we are doing, we should set it right. Mm. So when the blog do the wrong thing, we find out whoever it is. And some might say, oh, the laws doesn't work. Digital space laws work. If you use someone else's picture, you can your website can get shut down for doing a wrong thing. I see. Yeah, your, your whole website can go up. And in some cases, you can be fined and asked to pay huge sums of money. Mm -hmm. I see. For making use of someone else's. Yeah. And let me give you an example. On the digital stores, the iTunes and all that. Mm -hmm. If you upload a song you don't own the to, and someone else proves that. Yes, he or she is the rightful owner to it. You will be fined and charged to pay a certain amount of money. Mm, 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 yeah. mm, mm. It works, but then that we are failing to apply the laws or mm. failing to do the right thing. I see. But Fifi, is it also true that sometimes some of these artists even pay money to use uh, music uh, website managers to post their songs up there? Is it also true? As in they pay us to do so. Yes, they pay you guys money to even upload their content, their songs. You know, um, personally, um, I'll take this on the timeline. We came from an era, um, I came to witness the cassettes, the CD, the Bluetooth, the infrared, before the internet came in. And even when the internet came in, we didn't have the website. Mm -hmm. We had um, line links or certain uh, 2DD. We have certain means of getting the music, but they weren't official websites as we have Ghana and Young Ghana, Boshin Ghana Music and all that. Mm -hmm. But all these uh, generations that we've had, they've all enjoyed their time. Okay. We are in the era of digital music streaming. Mm -hmm. Free download is the thing of the past. But the users are fed to move along with it. The users, I think, those who uh, enjoy the music. Those who download. They don't know how to stream the music. 
Then the artists understand the fans that use. My fans don't know how to play music. Mm. They want my music to break my fans. Mm-hmm. So I want to go with free download. Those are the basis why someone might choose free download over streaming. Mm. You understand? Mm. Most mm. of the people, if we are all gonna be real, most people don't stream music or purchase music. Okay. But the, but the artist's primary aim is to reach the audience with his music. Mm. And he believes that, oh, if I put my song on uh, streaming, it's, my, it's not reach the fans as I would want to. So mm-hmm. then um, let me put the music out for whom? I don't know if you get me. Yeah, I'm listening to you, bro. Yeah, let me put the music out for free for my fans to enjoy. And also, he believes the blog is rendering a promotional service, or mm. the blog is doing so, mm. and certainly should be paid based on the work that the blog is offering. Okay, now think, is it also true that when you put your song for free download, it aids in promotion? Is it true that when your songs are out there for free download, it helps in promotion? You know, um, promotion comes in various ways. Uh-huh. Uh, if, if I write some bar flex on my Facebook wall, I'm mm. promoting you. Mm-hmm. It might be huge, it might be small, but whatever I'm doing, I'm promoting you. Okay. So, once the blog is offering a promotional service, they should be paid. Mm. No, in this case, I'm talking about the song getting to more people than if it is not allowed to be downloaded for free. You know, the, the digital, the digital uh, stores, the iTunes, the Spotify, the user and all that, not everyone knows how to use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the education on how to use it is even low. We are not even educating people on how to purchase that, it. That is very true. It. That is very true. Mm. Yes, we are failing to do that. I've been educating people all, time, all along, though I don't want to do that forms officially. Mm. But if the people know how to do it, then we will all benefit. Mm. I see. All right, Vivi, thank you so much for talking to us. We appreciate no, no, your no, contribution. No. We're going to do this again some other time in the studio, I guess. Mm. All right, thank you so much. And that was Fifi Adinkra from GhanaNyom.com telling us that he is going to share the blame. Artist managers, Monye Modie. Artist Monye Modie, and of course, music consumers, Monye Modie. Um, Modie. Let me start from you. Any talking point from what Fifi told us before I even ask some one or two questions? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I agree largely with the things that he said okay. about uh, the fact that it's a, it's a it's an all-round blame mm-hmm. stuff. Just that I, I think the artist side could take more because they own the content and they put it out first. Mm-hmm. And so if you put it out and somebody takes it, you could just tell the person to take it down. So mm-hmm. if somebody steals or something and you don't complain that the person has stolen my something, obviously the person will keep You are endorsing it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So mm-hmm. uh, that's where I think the blame will be more. But again, I also agree with the fact that we all are in, in a space where we think that when the song become um, big, Mm-hmm. Then you probably, because obviously, I mean, I've had this conversation with Drake over and over again about the fact that uh, live tour uh, is the mainstay of all artists all over the world in terms of live events, live shows. It's where the artists make the chunk of his revenue from. Mm-hmm. So, um, people were, some people are like, okay, if I look at the streams, the amount that I'm gaining from streams vis a vis the live events, because obviously, live events, one live event can take care of. Maybe one album, Monday will generate people there for six months. So you think about look at it here and there, which one goes first? Why don't you give the song out there? The song become popular. I mean, a lot of people jam the song. It becomes a number one song. I get more shows and take the money back. I mean, that's some some template people, uh, uh, model people are using to run this whole idea. I, in the beginning, didn't agree with the, that template. But I mean, moving forward and seeing exactly the people other people who are doing the that template whereby they give it for free mm-hmm. and then get, get the money back from from live shows mm-hmm. seem to be winning the argument about the fact that uh in ghana one i mean a platform like spotify which is a very big platform which um is a third payer in terms of the the, the most paid 
the streams that or the service is a platform mm -hmm. that pay more mm -hmm. um, apart from Tidal, which pays the highest right now. Mm -hmm. um, it looks to me like it's not even here. If you're in Ghana, you can't use Spotify to, to, to listen to some music, except you're you are using a VPN on your phone. And somebody should know more to be able to even install VPN, you know, to use Spotify in, in, in Ghana. Mm -hmm. So, um, iTunes is one. I mean, how many people are using iPhone to use iTunes? So it become a difficult play, and it's not even a chicken and egg issue. It's, a, it's clearly about the fact that we don't have the, the infrastructure to support uh, the populace, mm. the grassroots, to be able to use the the songs. Mm. That's how come I always said that. In this case, I would always blame the states, because if the state is able to put in infrastructure, help support an infrastructure that will help to generate and make sure that all songs are passing through some channel. Mm -hmm. And then the artists are able to share this, the, the revenue with the state and then the, the artists. Then we can, can be, we can go somewhere. But I'll, I'll explain for that maybe when we come back. Mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. Because obviously, I, I think that, again, I've always said if the government uh, step in. If they can regulate. Yes, of course. I mean, some, some, well. some, yeah, some, some platform. You see, uh, let me go for that and say that, let's say if the government, the government says, okay, I'll create a platform. Now, every blogger should take the link from the government platform and post it. If the artist sells the song, where the, because now we know, where the person, let's say the person went to the dining room mm -hmm. and downloaded the song, uh, went for the link on the government platform to download the song. Mm -hmm. Then the blogger who through him got the, the person, so like a referral, got the person to download the song, makes a bit of the money. The government who has a platform makes a bit of the money. Then the artist also makes a, big, a bit of the money. Assuming it's five, uh, 50 pesos or even once a year. And they share across the board. Then every blogger, because the blogger is making money from getting his people to download the song through his platform, we're putting that, that link there. Because it, it, as we is making 20 pesos for every song that I download. Obviously, then it will even take away the fact that I would have to put tell a blogger okay. to pay the blogger. Mm. Because the blogger is making money directly from the song, people mm. download the song from his, his, his page. Mm. That's where I think we should go in. So I've always said, because in the US and other countries, Yes, people will say that the artists love it. In US in particular, somewhere around 1990, uh, 2008, you could download every R&B song for free. Until the hook, and they were using the, the Lime, he was mentioned the Lime, mm -hmm. uh, Lime, Lime, I forgot. Mm -hmm. And other ones to download the R&B songs. Now he can't do it because the government has come here and said, no, we will not do this. We'll, we'll make sure that all songs will pass through a digital space so people will pick it from that end. So there's a need for government to come in and streamline help. Okay. Uh, and that's where Sometimes I get disappointed when I get to hear about the fact that there was some money the government gave and then some other people yeah, don't go there. It worries because there. those are don't the ends that I was thinking we could have channeled the money. Because I was speaking to somebody who was close to that, who was saying that they even have the speaking government and there's a platform they wanted to create that they needed only a hundred thousand dollars to be able to finish the project. And they couldn't that, get it. They couldn't get it. And that's where I feel we could have gone. But okay. else that's what will happen. All right, um, Steve Mesa there from Kaufman's Music. Now let me go on to um, Ricky because Ricky is very close to Boom Play. I also asked him when the man said we should blame artists. I don't know why he thinks we should blame artists. For the artist, he puts their work there. Um, whatever copyright is still in his name. So where do they come in when he says we should blame them? Do you also think they have a share to take in the blame? Um, of course. Once there's a problem, obviously, there's a, everybody is involved. But for me, I think we are, we are trying to go beyond ourselves. Sincerely, because we feel that, okay, in other parts of the world, streaming is a big deal there. That's not mean that in this part of the world, streaming will be a big deal here. Because the things that work there, that's not work here. One, your data plan your data packages mm -hmm. does not even sit well for artists. Mm -hmm. You get the number of people who can access music or decide to stream music a lot mm -hmm. is, is small. Mm -hmm. Even the rich, those who are the upper class, still complain about data. I see a lot of people that I don't expect to be even worried about data, mm -hmm. saying that Charlie, MTN for like you know, we get all of that. So it tells you that data packages or data plans here, mm -hmm. it's not even, yes, it hasn't even gotten to that point where these artists should feel like everybody can stream music. Even there, that data 
packages are even flexible. Mm -hmm. Trust me, we sit here and we watch Game of Thrones every time, every second the, the movie is actually released. Mm -hmm. You get free downloads. Mm. You get it. So for you to sit somewhere and feel that I am so boy, I'm stuck on here. Nobody for figure my song to download. It it is impossible. It is there. These things are there. There are people who will actually crack it. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's part of the conversation is what we should be discussing. Two. Who says downloading music is free? It's not. If I'm playing, if I'm if I use my data to play a song and it's playing and I'm listening, mm -hmm. and I use my same data to download a song, who says yeah. it's data I'm using to download? Mm -hmm. So we are getting it wrong. I'm um, here. The free here is the fact that the artist doesn't benefit anything from exactly. it. No, but uh, that, that is so why it is free. So let me. So let me. Let, let me it is not free to the downloader, but the artist okay, doesn't wait, get anything wait, so from it. Are saying, telcos yes. So, so let me let me Break get it there. Yeah, mm. that we always see that. You see, artists always feel like they are the most relevant or important people in the mm. music business, and I always say this: mm. we feel they are the most important people. Yeah, but you know, no, we are supposed to have a serious conversation. This is where industry players, artists, and everybody else is supposed to come and sit down with telecommunications. Yeah. It is not about you, the artist. It's not about you thinking that people for streamer and if it's people streaming your music, it's like now they are forcing it on your neck that shall you go stream my music. It's not be by force. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are, they are, you know, content people who actually, um, you know, they are content strategies. People who when they are releasing their albums, Charles the rapper actually won, won a Grammy and his album that was out was actually for free. He actually put it out for free. The whole album? The whole album. There are several people who actually do that. And like I'm saying, even in that part of the world, you get it. So it, is, it depends on what you want to achieve. Look, streaming, audio streaming, not even video, audio streaming is not the, the, the biggest revenue stream for any artist. So if you're coming up with an album, are you sure? Of yes. course, audio streaming. But, but we, 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 we've heard um, Mr. Easy talking about the millions of dollars he is making from streaming. So what are you okay. talking about? Okay, if you've heard, uh, well, there, there's there's a bigger conversation to that because he's, he's putting in a lot of investment. Uh -huh. You get it. If he's making millions out of it, uh -huh. he has not told us how much millions he put into it. Uh -huh. That is also a different conversation. Mm. You get it. So like I'm saying, there are there are different strategies to even putting your or getting your uh, music to be streamed so um, like if you're putting out music and your main focus is that I want people to go and stream my music stream my music and make music and money out of it and that is how I'm going to survive it is a wrong strategy because I know people who are trying to strategically sell the albums to certain people you get it before even before the album comes out they made some amount of money from the album mm -hmm. already even mm -hmm. before it comes out mm -hmm. they have tour plans mm -hmm. even though the, the thing is going online there are tour plans to still whip up some excitement to still even though the thing is online why would they go on tour mm -hmm. to perform the songs for people to hear the songs for free no so like i'm saying there's a whole structure or concept of even album releases which we don't understand mm -hmm. so then again i'll go back to even the downloads if you realize that okay in this part of the world Downloads is what, what works because trust me, you go to the pubs and expect them to be streaming your music and playing to the public from Boom Play or from Spotify. No, they will obviously need to download it for even you, Stone Boy, or whoever to enjoy that mileage. Okay, case study, um, rhythm of rhythm of the gods. Mm -hmm. what, has, what has happened to it? If we'll be real and not be political about it, rhythm of the gods didn't travel as far from uh, for a mixtape. Or an album that had almost every top oh, the Ghanaian artist yeah. on mm -hmm. because it was strictly or exclusive to boom player strictly to um, a streaming site mm -hmm. where are the songs you get it but maybe if it was open enough some of the songs would have been bigger some of the people who actually performed on the songs mm -hmm. would be able to perform the songs out there they'll be getting a lot of shows and out of those performances mm -hmm. you know they are right yeah. when you perform songs mm -hmm. there are other and uh, you know mechanical, music, right, yeah, yeah. mechanical rights that you enjoy mm -hmm. and all of that so that's why i'm saying that if you have to you have to have a big conversation when we are thinking deeper this part of our um, country we can't stream more people love to download if you download it is still data how do we put premium on downloads over streaming so maybe if you download, you are, you are spending maybe 100 megabytes or 50 megabytes to download. But if you're streaming, 
maybe it's just a small you know part of it so it's a, a conversation with the telecommunications mm. and that is what conversation we should be having because mm. trust me it won't work like i'm saying even out there people actually get free downloads mm. people do this thing even apps let's look at apps yeah put apps on play store on um how do you call iOS. it iOS, iOS. and mm. people download why they want you to download it for free and out of the experience you have mm-hmm. um people actually sponsor like facebook facebook mm-hmm. makes a lot of money from um, um how do you call it um, sponsorship mm-hmm. from advertisement mm-hmm. and that's the same thing that um, these apps actually also do mm-hmm. when they download when you download it you're using it all these pop-ups and all those things and like that's how they benefit in this part of the world we understand that we are not up to the state and uh, the standard of americans mm-hmm. so why do you want to put yourself there when you are not dealing with the structures first you want people to stream your music because they are streaming jay-z's music do you understand the structures that are there do you understand you know how people can easily access sometimes i feel that we over jump the gun the real conversations are how can the telecommunications help us to make this work but artists are not interested in having conversations with them um telecommunication but should, should it be the responsibility of the artist or better still music at the music union or maybe gamro they should lead this conversation for the artist to follow so because for the artist whatever he would go to talk about that will bring him money i'm not sure he say take your nonsense away so, 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 he will surely agree to it sign documents so, to it so so then that is that is my point this is your problem and that's the problem why i have with artists all the time and i say this is your problem this is your challenge you don't understand the space you know there's a telecommunication involved you know there's a consumer involved and you know there are some certain industry players who may like uh, those who actually deal with streams those who actually deal with websites and all of that who may be able to advise on how the industry can get rid of you know some of these challenges but the artist will never come to you the artist always wants you to have a problem and come to him mm-hmm. because they feel like they are the artist will never come to you and go like Charlie Gamble, when they beg you mm-hmm. when you go through some challenges how we are the artists will never do that they mm-hmm. won't do that it is government will be having a problem and come to an artist and they will bluff mm-hmm. they will tell you that oh, I, I will charge 70 k if you want use me i will charge that is an artist for you and like i'm saying now that they are bleeding <laughs> yeah now that they are bleeding mm-hmm. you, you see the narratives that are going around mm-hmm. the, the blame is on bloggers Mm-hmm. The blame is rather, but for me, I, I don't think they are those at fault. Mm-hmm. You get because definitely people crack. It's 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 there. Definitely people crack it. I expect that Charlie. This is a big conversation that we should be having. Artists. These are the challenges we are we are facing. Okay, Cameron. What are the the steps Wait we can yeah, mm-hmm. we can all take to actually develop and build and make sure that and then Gamu will also put together a team. They sit with the telecommunication. These are the things we should be. Mm. You know, so so if if i put everything you've said together it means you are endorsing the free download kind of thing for our system no i'm not i don't no, no you are trying to because you are kind of favoring it I'm you are favoring I, it looking, I, I, at, looking at, at our situation you want to I, I, favor I, that aspect like i told you i actually streamed the music mm-hmm. you get it i actually went on boom play to do to go streaming but like I, it is not about favoring it it is about the condition we find mm-hmm. ourselves mm-hmm. Which yeah. makes it favorable. favorable. Exactly. That's the only way. No, it doesn't mean. It doesn't mean that yeah. it is yeah. right. But okay. I'm saying that the okay. condition you find yourself, yeah. mm-hmm. you can't kill this. Mm-hmm. You get this. It's like this um, lockdown um, challenge we are facing. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. People say they, they bleed and they want to break out and come. Mm-hmm. And you see the way your system is. You don't have any choice than to decide actually. Let me just lift it. And it's the same thing. The way data plan is in Ghana, mm-hmm. it will be difficult for you to. And trust me, a lot of the people who stream Mr. Easy can promise and their beast. A lot of them are actually not even from Ghana. Mm-hmm. A lot of them are people from the diaspora. If you check the data properly, a lot of the people who actually stream and um, Ghanaian music and all of that, a lot are not, you know, from mainstream Ghana. And a lot of the people who actually also stream are the high end people. Mm. Those, that's why they if you oh sure, they enjoy the Kim Pop, they enjoy a certain kind of music. Yeah, yeah. They enjoy the Joe Boys and mm. that's why they mm. even don't even listen to just Ghanaian music mm. and they go into Nigeria, they go into other areas mm. and because they can actually stream music day in, day out. Mm. 
<laughs> I see. All right, his name is uh, Ricky Rick. Hold it, Steve Mesa. Uh, he is into well, events, PR, features, think, uh, and yeah. also into the space oh, of fine. our yeah. show business. Mm-hmm. Of course, he's put out some serious points that we need to consider. Let me try to read some of your commentaries and uh, say good evening to all the big men watching. Good evening to you, George Quay. Good evening to George Britain. Uh, good evening to Alodia once again. And uh, Bismarck and Yable, I see you as well. Um, Okay, uh, there was one point I saw. Um, I think it came from George Britton, but I'll look for it again. Dan, when you are doing promotions with artists and you go on radio, say you come to Xylophone FM for an interview, yeah. after playing your song, how do you intend to let the consumer enjoy the song after, um, after the interview? Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, before I answer this question, mm-hmm. let me say one thing. We always blame the artist. Mm-hmm. So we should blame either the manager or the management. But mm-hmm. they are there to see to it that the job is done well. Mm-hmm. Artists are writing the song. That is, even if you don't get someone to write a song for you, okay. can you, you can write your own song after recording. Mm-hmm. The, the, the rest of the job is, is, is dependent on the manager or the management. Okay. So we shouldn't blame the artist too much because for them, they have done their part. It is we or it is up to the managers. So also the rest of the team members. Yes. So I don't agree with him. Mm-hmm. If 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 Sami is doing something at let's say a certain media house, or when the GH1 incident happened, mm-hmm. nobody said the producers. They, they should have blamed the Lanaba. Yeah, they should all give yeah. GH1. Mm-hmm. You are you are fronting it for that. You know, I know, I know. But you see, those that we need to mention here to the managers, so it is their job. So, so when, when it comes to your question, eh, mm-hmm. uh, what I'll say is, you know, just like uh, Ricky said, the system we find ourselves in find it make, make it very difficult for you to uh, say you are maybe selling the song online mm-hmm. or putting it in there to the stream. Very, very difficult. Mm-hmm. Uh, when, when it comes to the hit song that we always enjoy, mm-hmm. ask yourself, how many of these songs were streamed or were even bought? Someone mm-hmm. has to download it free and send it to their friend, then send it to the other person, and even the, the DJs themselves. Mm-hmm. Even at the point, the producers that they produce, the songs don't even lose their file, and mm-hmm. they go online and then download this one for free. Okay. Mm. So in a way, the, the free download also helps. Okay. Though that is not the right way to go. Okay. So if you come to me, then I want you to promote this song for for me. Uh, what we're looking at is, what do you seek to achieve? Okay. For the song to be big, right? Mm-hmm. So how how does the song become big when you when you want to uh, only stream it, stream it, or if you want to put uh, limitations that limitations on limitations it, yeah. that mm-hmm. this and this, you would the song will not go anywhere. Mm. The DJ, the DJ that. They didn't want you to come and give the song to him free for him to play for you. Mm-hmm. Why don't you take money from me and play for you? Oh, that is not all. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not, not, not all he did. No, no, he's talking promotion. He's talking promotion. He's talking promotion. promotion. When you want to exchange. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. yes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, so don't make it look like he's taking money. No, no, no. He's not even taking the song. He's not even taking the song only for free. He's not even taking only the song for free. He's not even taking only the song for free. He wanted to give the song for him for free. Uh-huh. And then pay him to, to promote it to play. No, but, but no, 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 I get, I get but you. But we want to pay him to promote what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I'm just so, stretching no, the argument that it's not only about even being sarcastic. Of course, we understand. Yeah. We know so, where you are. Uh, 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 yes, uh, 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 if if you really want to be straight on the promo, okay, then you you wouldn't achieve what you want to you achieve. Want to achieve. Mm. Uh-huh. And and me being the promoter was go like, no, Charlie, this song should be a hit song. Okay. So for it to be a hit song, let's, let's get this all out. involved. Let's go mm. all out. Mm. See, you can call us the spinners, mm-hmm. send the song to them, street promo, mm-hmm. go all out, go do. You can even get people, ladies, to do videos for you, singing the song and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, father, where are these ladies going to get the song from? Mm-hmm. You have to send it to them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even our earliest artists, BVS and Silist. They even send a song out for these ladies to do videos for them to send back to them. Mm-hmm. And how do they get a song mm-hmm. if you don't send it to them? Okay. Is mm-hmm. it that you send a song to them 
via WhatsApp or they go online, there will be some free. Mm -hmm. Though that is not the right thing to be done, but we have no option. If you don't do this, as in putting the song out, they will free. Charlie, come back <laughs> Come back in, the, in, in the sense that, yeah, it is me. Charlie, uh, I'm big. I'm big. I want to go this direction. It's mostly Stoneboy Day and Logadjan Shabom Nina Kogu YouTube. Yeah. And some also act. Even that, so, have you landed? No, I have not. No money landed, money landed. You see, my main chip in me, when we released an album, yeah, yeah. Everybody said it was like before mm -hmm. we have the music shops, mm -hmm. Best Bites, mm -hmm. uh, the way they are, the band will be a part of my thing. See, when I was in the moment, they come home, so we sell the song. For me, yourself, as, as marketers, as marketers, mm -hmm. so but here, here is the case. My family, my name, where you are, oh, what you are wearing as you be a part of the work of a where they will be okay. Then, no, say, you send a pair with your my arrest, okay. You send a pair because on one farmer, on one farmer, so you are thinking that that. And the bloggers should rather wait for approval from the artist. Exactly. The artist should give exactly. the song exactly. to them. See, we have any 15 or 16 songs on the album. Mm -hmm. Do you know how much went into that that, that song? Mm -hmm. Huge sum of money. And then you, you take the song free. What's uh, chrono? <laughs> <laughs> okay, my Ricky yeah. Pesor or the BB count. So like There's another thing I want us to look at briefly before we close. So, so, so a quick like, one. Uh, 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 another thing like I'm saying is even some of our artists they don't understand this. When even with songs, content content marketing, there are some people who actually put out their songs for free downloads and they use that data. Mm -hmm. That number of people who have actually accessed their songs, who have actually downloaded all these songs, they use they sell actually sell that data mm -hmm. for other projects. Mm -hmm. So like I'm saying, it is not like downloading music is illegal or mm -hmm. down no, it is not. It, depending on how it is structured for me when it has not been given to you for free or to be put out for downloads and you actually find your way to do that that one of course the blogger you are it's a criminal act okay but for you to find out that you know albums are being downloaded off or the notion that when you are downloading an album or you are downloading a song for free mm -hmm. it is unacceptable or it is out of place for me i think it is not yeah, true. it is not true okay now what do you want to yes, add? yes i guess wanted to say that you mm -hmm. see um, in, in, in all we are saying is very true because obviously in our system, as I said, it's difficult to even putting a song on, on, on YouTube. It's, it's streaming. You stream, yeah. go and stream yeah, it yeah, to yeah. listen to it. But how many people even do that? Mm -hmm. So people even struggle to. People, if it's a, a link to somebody to listen, or send me the song itself. You yeah. remember that it happens yeah. a lot of yeah. the time. Yeah. So I think with the culture of, of streaming and downloading is uh, or, or it's streaming not yet with that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But what I want to say is that in our case right now, let's not forget. Coronavirus is changing the, the, the narratives. <laughs> now, I don't know what time people uh, will start uh, allowing shows and all that for, for artists to begin to make money yeah. from live events. Yeah. Can you imagine if this uh, uh, show not happening stretches somewhere around uh, December? September. Dece even say December. I mean, December. Can you imagine what will happen to artists? Because obviously, the only people. It's also not the artist. It's not just the artist. No, no, I know. No, 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 no. If you say the artist, how many of them are being paid for? Let him finish. 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 We have just 10 minutes to close. So I'm saying that, as long as I agree that that template is what we can work with in Ghana here, I'm also thinking that the people who have the numbers, like the Sakura is the somewhere and cool, need to, because they have the numbers, and when they put the song out there and they want people to go and stream the people who are streaming it. They should be able to continue doing that so that they would be able to make some money out because obviously they are not getting shoes right now. Mm. So I'm saying that people who have the leverage, who have the numbers, who don't need to be people to be able to go and like to put their song out there. Because I don't think somebody <coughs> will do the song and send it to the bloggers that they should blog it. Mm. He put it on his YouTube. Mm. So those ones should try and insist that their songs are streamed because mm. those ones I'm sure if they stream them they'll make the money and then they'll enjoy from from them. But okay. Some of the new ones that are coming up who need the, the leverage. They should put it out for free download. Exactly. Okay. But I think I've seen a culture from Sarkodie now. Lately, he does not do this free download often. He always puts out links of the digitized yeah. stores on his Facebook yeah. or anytime he's doing any post. He puts any of these uh, links there for the artists or for the fans to also uh, stream as well. Now, we're doing this as the last topic. But then from now, if you want to call into the program to contribute, it is allowed because we have less than 10 minutes to close. I think 9 minutes. 
to be specific you can call the number is on the screen 024 351 this afternoon on uh, facebook kwame dazi and uh, george Quay, they were sharing some one or two points on events and i want to read a portion start with ricky dan and um um steve kwame wrote George Quay says we may organize public events by observing the coronavirus protocols because after all, other people are moving out and working. Are people still sitting in buses? Allow their hold it for me. Are people still sitting in buses and traveling? Yes. Will the airlines probably introduce measures that will make air travel possible? Yes. Because the economic the economic motor of the world has to keep going around the world cannot come to an end because of coronavirus he further stated now ricky you were also um tagged in this particular post so i want to believe you've done your analysis of the post already is this possible george Quay is saying yes coronavirus is still with us people go to work all right um, everyone is going to work how about event people because they also have to put together the numbers to be able to feed how are they should they also devise new ways to make some money from their gigs whilst ricky is talking i'm sure now lord yeah he can call in we will listen to you ricky <laughs> well this this is dicey <laughs> yeah it's, it's it's very dicey because from all indication it is clear that uh, people coming together social gathering is what actually spreads the disease if um, you know the technicalities of all of this is what we should go by okay so i don't know how because events are numbers the best times you'll enjoy an, an event is when people are together when there are so many people around when you have the numbers then when you can only sell your event when you're showing clients numbers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. The point, mm. Ricky, heard it. Um, I promise to pick some calls, so let's pick Alodia. Alodia, good evening. Good evening, sorry. Yes, sir. Uh, First of all, I just have to say, pick up, pick up, nice program. Mm. Pick up to your panel. You guys are doing great job. I'm here this evening and I'm enjoying it. Uh, contribution to the download issue. Mm -hmm. The guy in black, I'm sorry, I don't know. Ricky, voice. Ricky. Really, really well. Everything I say is on point, mm -hmm. you know. You can't really say that you want people to download your your song and they should pay for it. That will never happen. People will pay for free. Mm -hmm. And he says something that is really good. Most of these guys, they make their money outside because some you don't like London, especially me. My internet is uh, unlimited. Mm -hmm. From general, let's say from 1st April to 30th of April is free. Then it will start from uh, 1st of March. So. It's up to me to finish it or not. So, maybe for instance, if I'm listening to a music here or a song here, what do I go to YouTube and listen to so that the artist will make money from me? Anytime I go on with you, just what I said to people, listen, if you want to listen to this kind of our artist music, they go on YouTube. And it's, you know, most of these girls, what they do at home when they play music, they play from YouTube. Yeah. So, these guys make a lot of money outside. Mm. Like you said about Mr. Easy saying that he's making millions on his downloads. Mm -hmm. Because Mr. Easy is starting to Apple. So if you want to listen to Mr. Easy's song, you go there mm -hmm. and download it. And most of them are outside, not less than Ghana. Because you know Ghana internet is very expensive. I know. So a strong boy putting his song on YouTube, they will make money. Me, for instance, I will listen to it and that's why I will listen to it so that you can make some money as well. Because my internet is free already anyway. So if I don't use it, they will take it at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. So I might as well use it as all of us, that's what we do. Because whether you use it or not, at the beginning of the month, it will go on waste. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Hello mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Um, are, 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 we going to do, are we going to do Ghana Music Awards UK this year, looking at the COVID-19 <laughs> issues? Uh, you know, Ghana Music Awards UK, today is over, so we go, we will do it, definitely. All right, thank you so much. We are still yeah, waiting for yeah, that to happen. You. And uh, that was Alodia from Alodia Promotions calling us all the way from London. You can also be part of the program 024 351 4732. 024 351 4732. Yes, um, so, like I was saying, they have major events with 
huge investment. Mm-hmm. Afro Nation, the Coachellas, <laughs> um, I think the Olympics of Afro, one of one of the, the big, um, you know, they've all actually been postponed mm-hmm. some into next year and all of that. Mm-hmm. Why? They are not forcing it. They are not forcing the fact that this should hold. Mm. So for me, when I saw that, I was like, Charlie, you guys, yes, <laughs> don't, force yeah, don't, don't force it. You get it, don't force it. There are other ways maybe we can actually come together, sit. And for me, I like brainstorming. I always, you hear me say that we should, an industry, it, there are other ways we, we, we can come together, speak to government, try and find ways they can also support it. These are the things, but for you to decide what, now we want to start events, but we want to put hand sanitizers or um, <laughs> machines there. To, it, it won't work. And trust me, even within this period to get people out yeah. and come and socialize it's going to be difficult even after the coronavirus i'm mm-hmm. telling you people say, feel that once um this is over everybody will be in a rush to no it's not everybody there are some people who are actually mentally affected by this mm-hmm. if they see you mm-hmm. there's a different mm-hmm. approach mm-hmm. they will relate mm-hmm. to you and all of that mm-hmm. so these are the things you should even be looking at that Charlie, when this thing goes away how do we conscientize people? How do we actually run campaigns that will get people out of that box where they can freely associate mm. and you know interact with people? And these are the things we should be keeping, thinking of and not forcing that Charlie by force or say yeah, event in the kind. Charlie. The the online shows, the virtual shows, mm. is there commercial viability in it for the organizers? So great. When these conversations begin to come up and these companies begin to realize that virtual shows are the new wave it's the new wave because um you know now everybody is actually subscribing to it everybody is watching and all of that that is where the investment will begin to go mm. because now they know that i won't get to activate on grounds i won't have any you know main event to come and actually put my stand and do all of those things so now when they begin to realize that virtual is the new way they don't have any option now to actually put their um, how do you call it advertisement on virtual shows mm-hmm. so that we should rather be thinking of new ways or bigger you know picture rather than forcing to bring people together and Charlie it's, it's risky unless you don't really take mm-hmm. this serious but mm-hmm. if you believe that this is as serious as you know the world is taking it you don't need this conversation of how do we bring together 5,000 people to hold an event without mm-hmm. any virus breaking out? Challenge is for me is out of place because possible. these people think, you know, um, these big events, the Coachella's and all their their investments are even bigger than what we are having in Ghana. Mm-hmm. But even with them, they are not thinking of how to bring all the people together and still save them from coronavirus. They are actually postponing it. Mm-hmm. They are actually finding other ways to you know heal the world first mm. before so are you also postponing uh three music awards no it's coming on next week second may second may yeah, next week saturday mm. we're actually holding the virtual concert so what it means is that you guys have gotten sponsors no no at the end of the day i told you that i have all cut it from scratch so it's a more more real kind of yeah yeah, yeah yeah killing the purple you know sometimes these things why are, are you guys not postponing like you are saying some big events like the, the currency Coachella? the currency this is an award scheme. Even now, we are even a little bothered because when music uh, passes a, a certain time, mm-hmm. it kills the vibe. Even with voting, now it is easy for you to feel that oh, okay, maybe a Kofi Moli or a Tulinki or whatever is the new artist of the year, is okay. the best or a family. But after a year or two, or after a particular period, you begin to forget that hey, there was a particular period Kofi Moli worked a, a, a lot. I remember Kwame Eugene. There was a year when beginning of the year the first six months everybody was saying kwam yujin artist of the year kwam yujin mm-hmm. artist mm-hmm. of the year mm-hmm. by the time you got to just two or three months to end the year you'll be really fear they are kwam yujin you played all the shows yeah, yeah, yeah. but by yeah. the time you got to the main night you'll be really fear say kwam yujin did some serious work mm-hmm. serious hit and mm-hmm. all the focus was on sako there stone mm-hmm. boy shatawali mm-hmm. and they eventually won it mm-hmm. which to me i think is not fair so we sat down we're like these guys have worked hard mm-hmm. regardless of corona or not mm-hmm they've worked hard mm-hmm. and if it wasn't for the event that will actually crown mm-hmm. the industry like the night mm-hmm. we can easily decide that just as we did the nominees we can easily decide that 
Number one, this, this. Number two, this, this. Without even an event. Okay. So why are we trying to hold back mm. what they deserve? All because we want to, you know, yeah. assemble people. Okay. So. Um, thank you, guys. Our time is up. I believe you heard the alarm go. But then, um, Edward also has a long message for us. So let's read that finally to close the show. He said, Corona has already affected how event managers and producers are going to work, especially in terms of health and safety. The question of when and how events will restart becomes more complex when taking into account the fact that nobody from the event industry is engaging government on the way forward. Social distance protocols will be very difficult, impossible to manage when it comes to large-scale events or concerts. Our safest bet for now will be protective masks and mandatory hand washing, sanitizing stations for all events. Let's wait and take a cue from the churches when they open. I know they are in talks with the government on the way forward to lifting the ban on church activities. I see. And um, Felix Inchilabi says, excellent work, gentlemen. You guys never disappoint. King David says, good job, guys. I'm enjoying you and whatever you are doing there. Okay, Dan, last commentary. Hey, good evening to you, Slim Basta. Thank you for watching. Efia Fabregas, good evening. And all the great guys. Great. Hey, good morning to you. Hey. Good evening. Uh, I'm used to them. I'm used to them. You know, Sammy, when, when you go to the market, eh, you 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 be forced to tell the president to 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 live to yeah. Mm -hmm. When you go to the market, mm -hmm. it, it, it's as if there's nothing like social distancing or whatever. Mm -hmm. They are just roaming like the normal mm -hmm. market days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? So if they are they are they are doing their job. Why would you uh, stop the churches to to do or to operate? Mm -hmm. A church can also have like a social. You can you see where, where like how we are sitting. Mm -hmm. I can sit here, Ricky sit here, mm -hmm. next person will sit here, and we still worship. Mm -hmm. You understand? So why are we preventing the churches, the mosque, and all these things mm -hmm. by really allowing allowing the, the market to, to function? Mm -hmm. It's very sad. Mm. But I hear, I hear in some marketplaces they have stopped them on their market days where they know the numbers would match. Which place? Because today, no, I have, I've heard that before. No, but in Accra, in Central, yeah. they, they don't even. They, I don't if, bother. They don't know about Corona. So, okay, our time is up. I, one minute. I, I, one I minute. Our time is up. Our time is up. I mean, if you do events, uh, you should first even think about what people even come. Because don't forget, the event yeah. is going to have fun. Mm -hmm. And nobody, people are going to the market because that's where they survive. Yeah. Yeah. But for, for a fan who, in his right sense, would want to come to an event mm -hmm. where you know there's a coronavirus. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think the conversation should be start. Yeah. 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 Okay, George Quay, I'm sure we still give you a special time to maybe expatiate on this. I may be giving you the chance you guys can uh, convince us to do other things. Thank you so much. Dan Latte, thank you so much. At least all these guys have been part of the first week. And it has been a blessing. This is for the industry. It is not for Sammy Flex. It is for everyone for us to come together. That's Let's spend that. some two hours <laughs> to discuss happenings in our showbiz industry. Everybody. And I'm so happy that people around the world, all my Londoners, um, good evening to you. All my US people, good evening to you. God bless you so much. Danlate, God bless you. He is a promoter, publicist, and also to Ricky, a researcher as well. Yeah. Now he is the bosses of all the music researchers in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Rick event promoter PR person and he's also ready to assist you in whatever you want to do and I have my artist manager here Stephen Mason of um, Kaufman's music God bless you so much and to you watching you have been fantastic the first week you guys have been with us and I believe the subsequent weeks it is going to be better from next week I know you want to see some of your celebrities here uh, Ricky Rick says sometimes you also need to sit and talk without them <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think I, I'm, I'm buying into his idea. Sometimes we need to sit and talk about us too. Yes, they are not the only important people in yes, the ecosystem. Like, we have to come <laughs> and do it like that yeah, and be yeah, going yeah, to do it. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks to man like Digital Rasta Currency, always making sure the world will see us. Richie Flex, God bless you so much. Yao Lapiji, thank you so much. Nana Reagan, God bless you. An old man, Sir Elevano, is in the house. But as to why he decided to be at the other side, <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> we will bring you right. except of what he is doing out there <laughs> next week <laughs> behind the scenes. We will bring you behind the scenes next week on the platform. Big ups to Berryman, Gideon, Neil, Amtesin, and to you for sharing our videos. My name is Sammy Flex. Remember that 
um, the best hand sanitizer in town is called Everclean Hand Sanitizer. Everclean Hand Sanitizer. Hand Sanitizer. You just call the number, I'll deliver to you. God bless you for watching. I'm out of here.